Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Tyson Pedro making this long-awaited return after being away for a long time. Fighting Ike Villanueva, who is... Yeah. Uh, just to say, he's 18 wins, 13 losses. He's 1-4 in, in his last five fights, and it's not good. He's 38 years old, uh, lost Chase, Sher Chase Sherman... TKO KO, lost to Jordan Wright, Dr. Stoppage Cut, beat v Vincius Moreira, who everybody knocks out, uh, and lost to Marcin Brachniel by body kick, and lost to Nick Negermeyer. Nope, don't know. Um, but Nick, whatever his last name is, uh, just absolutely got swarmed and destroyed. Um, he's very chinny in his fights. Um, he has a good style for fans. But he can't really take a shot either to the body or to the head. But morally to the chin for sure because his chin's very questionable. Tyson Pedro might be some ring rust. He's 2-3 and three in his last five fights. His last fight was three years ago in four months. Lost to um, um, Shogun, lost to Ovin St. Pru in a fight that he was winning, and then he beat um, Safarov by uh, Kimura, lost to Lear Latifi, and beat Paul Craig el by elbows. He's a minus 500 favorite, and that is simply because Mike Villanueva, we've seen it, he can't take a punch. Um, he gets overwhelmed at times and gets beat down. A pace and uh, pace Tyson Pedro is 6'3 with a 79 inch reach. Uh, Ike Villanueva is 6'1 with a 73 inch reach. Pike Tyson Pedro will have a 6 inch reach advantage, 2 inches taller, and I think he puts an absolute beat down on Ike Villanueva. Uh, I wouldn't put any money on Ike Villanueva. I'd put all the money on Tyson Pedro, but something. Um, but yeah, that is my prediction. Tyson Pedro probably by finish because Ike Villanueva always gets finished. You guys know what it is. Hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Leave a comment, comment down below. Turn that bell notification on so you know when I am uploading. And you know what it is. 